Friends, you are in store for a great beekeeping education today. I'm looking so forward to having so much fun with you today. So you want to grab the kits for this one too, because it's going to be a fun one. Whether you're a brand new beekeeper or you've been beekeeping a long time, I'm going to show you 10 things about beekeeping today that you're going to get up close and personal with. And let me see, this one is rated for mature audiences. So let me just set that aside and uh, I'll let you decide who gets to see that one. But let's go ahead and get started today with these great things I'm gonna show you. And what they are, they're actually, look at that. They're beautiful frames that actually you can use to educate people. That's what I'm doing now. And this is a swarm on a branch and you can carry this in a deep high body into a training event and use it. And on the next so slide here, look at that, trophalalax. Now, sometimes people confuse this word with tropolalaps. That's the mite that we hope we never get in the country. Trophalalax is basically a way that bees feed each other. And here are two bees feeding each other, mouth to mouth feeding, uh, proboscis to proboscis. So you can educate how bees feed each other. That's a great way to do it. I gotta keep track of the, the one more mature audience frame. I'm gonna show you in just a minute. And uh, look at this one, bees and honey. I mean, just a beautiful picture that you can demonstrate what bees do on a frame. Here is a queen and her retinue, also known as her court. We call them a retinue, but the queen court. Number 22, and there she is. And they're all gathering around her, feeding her and taking care of her. Isn't that really, really neat? And here's the next one. Look at that. The wax. Isn't that beautiful? Who doesn't love looking at some of that beautiful comb that bees make? They make the wax themselves from their wax glands. Between the ages of 12 and 17 days old, they have eight wax glands underneath their abdomen on four on each side. And so they consume a large amount of nectar and produce that wax. And, uh, and then they build, they take the wax uh, and then they make comb with it. And on this side is another picture of the queen and her court. Look at that. Look at that tight retinue around her. They say that if the retinue is really tight like that, then the queen has a lot of pheromones. She's a very strong queen. It looks like she's laying an egg as well. Here's a picture of the bees and the nursery. Not a real good brood pattern, is it? <laughs> but good enough. I see some eggs, larvae, and uh, cat brood there. This is kind of where the brood area is, and this is where they take care of their brood. Look at this side over here. We've talked a little bit about propolis. Wow, that bee there is loaded full of propolis on the hind legs in that uh, pollen basket. So that is awesome. Some of you may wonder why that brood looks darker. It's just the way it is. And take a look at this. This is a bee and the honey. So this, this bee may actually be depositing some honey down in the cells. That's beautiful. Beautiful wax, brand new drawn comb, and honey sitting in those cells. Look at this side over here. We have some royal jelly in a queen cell. Beautiful. Uh, can we see the larvae floating in there? That is just beautiful what it looks like and it's so beautiful if you're wondering you know does um, my queen cell have any royal jelly or larvae in there or is it just sitting there empty that's what it looks like if you can need to get familiar with that royal jelly still waiting on this one for mature audiences only so stay tuned okay look at this wow bees by the numbers this is very instructional because it gives um facts about the numbers of bees usually it says a colony has between 40 and 80,000 bees it talks about uh, three to four hundred bees die every day in the season it also says that bees only live uh, four to five weeks in the main beekeeping season and then they live four to eight months and in the winter or in the winter physiology state so these are good again good teaching tools and on this side here the secret of apis mellifera look at that there you can see a side angle of all the comb there these are just beautiful and these are great to teach by aren't they and let's take a look at this one look at that 
Yeah, ventilation. You can actually see the, the bees' wings flapping. They have two wings on each side, and probably near an entrance, I bet, and they're just fanning to ventilate the hive. And on this side over here, you've all probably experienced this swarming, ah, ah, swarming. <laughs> near, there they go, just swarming. And uh, we talked a little bit about that in my live stream last Thursday night. If you want to pick that video back up, you, even though you miss a live stream with me, you can always go back and watch it um, by going in my uh, channel and, and picking it up there. All right, look at this, a perfect architect. Now, these bees are so programmed to build the, that comb. It's just magnificent, isn't it? How they build it so strong, so perfectly. And that's where they live, raise their young, store their resources in the comb. Perfect architect. That's amazing. You're going to really love this one. Oh, wow. Look at that. From the egg to the bee. Now, this is uh, there's more steps involved in that, but the, most of them are here. We have the egg being laid, sticking straight up in the cell. And then we have the larvae getting bigger. And then we have the pupa. You can actually see the three, where's that with my finger pointing right here. Look at those three ocelli right here on top. These are eyes the bees have in addition to the two compound eyes. Look at that three right in the middle they use to distinguish light. Uh, they'll get, uh, they're noticeable now. Kind of hard to tell when the bee gets older over here. But this is the bee just starting to um, work her way out of that cell, eat her way out. But that's just a, a beautiful image here. Kind of helps you get knowledgeable about what bees are doing. We have two more frames to look at. And before I show you this one, so let me encourage you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel here. Appreciate it so much. I love all you guys. I love teaching you guys. And it means so much to me when you can subscribe. Click on the subscribe button. Oh, Bobblehead David. There he is. He says, please subscribe. Make him say yes. There he goes. And uh, please give me a thumbs up. Now, look at this here. This is a young bee. How can you tell it's a young bee, David? Well, Look how it looks kind of blonde and hairy. Like all of us, as we age, our hair kind of thins out a little bit. <laughs> but uh, a lot of hair there on the young worker bee. And it's a very young bee. A bee that's only about uh, one or two days old. They're so young and so new, they can't even sting you. The stinger isn't even hard enough to sting you. And here we go. Look at this. Bees out foraging. Beautiful. Out working the, got a little pollen in the basket. Out working flowers. A beautiful flower there. All right. I'm going to show you this next frame that I told you is rated for mature audience. It's not really, but it's good. Oh, where'd it go? Well, that's not it. Did I lose it? Where did I put it? Wow, I lost the mature audience. See, it's not this one. Oh, it must be all the way down here. So let's see if we can swap these out. It must be on the back of this one. Okay, yeah, is it right here? Yeah, it's on the back. I'm gonna turn it around. And this is kind of cool. Here is a queen in her mating flight. I don't know how anyone got that picture, but uh, it looks real to me, like it's really happening. And uh, a good education about, I don't think I can drop this. Yeah, it focuses on me. But a good education for you guys is that uh, Queen, when she goes out on mating flight, uh, she mates with a lot of drones. And we want her to mate with a lot of drones. Genetic diversity is so huge and important. So this is only one drone she's mating with, and they will mate together for about two seconds. And then another drone will mate with her for two seconds until she mates with 10, 20, up to 40 drones sometimes on one single mating flight, be back at the hive, and in a few days be ready to start laying eggs. But that, that's just an unbelievable capture of that as well. Now, these frames are great to buy if you want to take them around. If you do a lot of teaching on bees, like at, for school events or get your children together at a homeschool event or a school group or something. It's great to have these frames for close up um, for the kids to look at and get excited about and study and learn about bees in 10, 10 easy frames that you can carry in a deep hive body as well. Uh, if you want to, you can put it on a bottom board, 
deep high body these 10 frames put a top cover on it and then you can kind of you know work it up really good and say okay i'm going to open up a beehive i want to tell you you're not going to believe what you're going to see and they're going to be thinking bees right and you open it up and there are bees but there's pictures of bees so it's a lot of fun i'll try to find a link below in the description i'll leave for you guys if i can find one where you can purchase these i don't know where they, they bought these for me here in my office to to use many years ago but i'll try to figure out uh, where you can buy those obviously you can do your own research right and google it start looking for frames b frames with uh, real pictures in it uh, you don't have to wait on me to find it you can do your own research i'm sure they're available they're really good now if this has gotten you excited about the possibility of getting into beekeeping and you don't know where to begin i made a video for you guys on how to start beekeeping in 2023 and i really think you're going to enjoy it because 1.5 million other people have enjoyed it too take a look at it right here maybe this will motivate you to get started still time i'll see you over there